Hey guys, I'm putting this video together to share my experiences with Ford and the new 10 speed in the Super Duties. I have a 2021 Super Duty that I've had for less than three years and less than 68,000 miles that gave a P07F7 code, which is for incorrect gear ratio. This resulted in me blowing the trans and under inspection via Ford, it's full of metal. So uh, yeah, just wanted to put this out there. Hopefully you guys learn from it and take this into thought when looking at a new truck or what you're going to get. Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Joe Bach from Box Garage and this is my 21 F250. It's got a 7.3 gasser under the hood and it's backed by a 10 speed transmission. Truck's got about 68,000 miles on it, a little under 68,000 miles. And it currently needs a $10,000 repair from Ford, which is a whole re transmission replacement. I don't run the truck hard. I use it to tow my Bronco on 44s. And uh, other than that, I daily drive it. So I thought it was a little ridiculous that this entire truck is down due to needing a transmission. I called up Ford. It's a known issue. Their dealerships have backlogs of trucks that need transmissions. And they said they'd help with it, even though it's out of warranty because they're so generous. But uh, it's a known issue, it's a design issue. I'll discuss that later at the end of the video. But uh, it really put a sour taste in my mouth that I had to do anything with it. Really, if it's a known issue, they should step up to the plate and either put a fix in or, uh, I don't know, some kind of program to go and update these trucks to the newer transmissions if they fail because just outside of warranty kind of blows especially because i had it in just for an oil change and it was starting to do the same you know sporadic shifting issues so if you guys are in the market for a truck i'll show you what mine was doing when it led up to this and you know where we're at now so hope you guys learned something and i hope you're not here for the same issue as me so first things first uh truck's got 67 784.4 that's after driving it some and this was my first indicator of an issue so if i go and i drop this thing into gear the truck goes and pretty much slams into wherever it's going with the reverse or drive i don't know if you could see it maybe try doing it once out the window but uh this was the first indicator Maybe in the back. I thought the truck needed shocks, but uh, turns out it was a transmission slamming into gear. And that was followed by sporadic shifts and then eventually codes. It was a powertrain control module code and like really bad shifting. So, uh, I'll get you some video of me driving to the dealership with this. So I'm on my way to Ford now, and I'm going to do my best to predict where this thing's going to shift real poorly and film it. But uh, that shouldn't be hard to do because it pretty much consistently shifts poorly. So to start, let's go slam into gear to drive. And it's uh, probably a lot less violent in the camera, but it's decent in real life. It's like, all right, that's, that's an issue. So if you're looking at one of these trucks that's slammed in and out of gear, um, I would, you know, double check that. I think there might've been a later year fix with these transmissions. So, uh, you know, if that's the case, I think Ford should go and help people out with the original ones. But, uh, yeah, especially if it's an early 10 speed, I would definitely reconsider that. We close the window, keep the audio good, and then we'll go from there. All right, so we're coming up to a red light, just making the turn. It feels a little clunky going down shifting, but uh, here, we'll accelerate. Not too bad. It definitely gets worse the longer you drive, once the thing warms up a little bit. So uh, maybe we'll try this experiment again in a few minutes. So I'm going up high point starting slow but uh 
the truck, yep. The truck just stays in gear and then it slams into either a downshift or upshift or just hunts around. So uh, I'm just gonna film for a bit, try to vary my speed so the thing's constantly shifting a little bit and uh, see if I can show a little bit of what it's been doing. So if we're going to pass, yep. And I know uh, I said this transmission is blown, which it is. So the question might be like, why am I driving on it? And my answer is, it's not gonna be any more blown. Worst case, I go and I get this thing towed via AAA. But uh, I wanted to bring it home, just get a little bit of video of what it was doing. Because, uh, you know, just keep, you know, if I can share it with people and keep them from making a mistake by buying a truck with a bad trans, I think that'd be useful. Also, I still think it's ridiculous that Ford didn't, you know, offer something to help with these, but that's another story. It's another decent shift there. But uh, it'll go and throw on a code, a control, uh, power control module code. And it'll almost like drop into neutral, it feels like. And it did it to me once on the highway. So I was going down in the passing lane. The truck, this is like when it first happened, dropped into these neutrals. And you actually had to let off the gas and then like gently reapply to be able to get it back into like any sort of power. Meaning like moving it all. And uh, the, yeah, that wasn't good. So as you guys can see, it's pretty jerky with the trans the shifts too. The other issue I found yesterday, driving this back to my house, is I came around a uh, bend in the road and there was an obstruction. So I didn't slam the brakes coming to a stop, but I, you know, braked rather strongly. And uh, ugh, I uh, felt like the trends didn't want to disengage. So the braking capability wasn't as impressive as it normally is. And for a second, I thought I was going to hit that thing in the road. So, uh, yeah, just uh, just a mess all together. And like I said, Ford offered, it was a 10,000 and change repair. And after fighting with Ford for upwards of a month with no rental, no anything, they eventually said they'd give me seven, which is generous, I get it. But uh, it wasn't like I asked for this blown trans, you know? It's not really like that great of an offer, I feel. I would have just got rather a truck that ran good. If these things had issues, just keep a six speed in the truck. Would have happily have taken the six speed as well. So, may sound like a big gripe, but uh, I guess it is. So, we're down in sixth. I'm gonna go give it a little bit of gas here in a second. I hope this focuses. I'm sorry if it hasn't been. Um, just see if it does any weird slamming. Yep. So we're breaking now. I don't know. I think this is more than enough to show that this thing just slams into every gear. So, yep. It's starting to get warmed up. It's starting to be pretty consistent. So. That's the issue. Let me go drop this thing off at Ford. And then I'll sit down later and run through what I believe the issue is in these transmissions. And I'll also see if there's been a fix in the newer ones. So uh, until then. Back at the Ford dealership. I just want to see this thing slammed into gear. drop this thing off and go get my reliable daily which is a 96 Bronco that I paid $2,100 for and leave the $60,000 plus Super Duty here to for another month for repairs after it's been sitting here for now weeks so uh <clears throat> definitely another part of my issue but we'll talk about that later 701 miles and we're still driving this thing around it's been a pretty uneventful couple uh, week and a two, so uh, haven't got a lot of footage, but it's still cruising, and uh, we'll definitely get some more in the next couple days.